an increasing number of mobile operators are adopting or planning to use virtual RAN technology and devising open RAN strategies as they roll out their 5G networks. So what should operators be thinking about right now with regard to these radio access network options? Well, I'm talking today with Geeta Ram, Global Head of Telco Solution Incubations at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and Matt Conrod, Director of VRAM Business Development at Intel, about this topic. So, Matt, what have we learned from early virtual RAN commercial deployments? Well, Ray, we have a number of commercial and uh, trial uh, VRAN deployments today, and um, there's quite a bit of learnings already uh, happening in the community. I, I think that what we've learned is that the compute is ready. Uh, we can uh, absolutely uh, deploy a commercial VRAN solution. Um, the, the, the technology is here uh, for both narrowband 4G, 5G, or even 5G massive MIMO. Um, but the technology is new. Uh, I think in the, well, we all know in the old days that uh, you, a single vendor would bring everything uh, completely um, uh, done to the operator. And in, uh, in virtual RAN, uh, there are new players and new interfaces and uh, new technology. So we've learned that uh, starting early, uh, exposing not only the planning teams, but the operations team to the new technology, to the new players, and to the new interfaces uh, is is a key, is a critical piece in this. This is not a new feature that we're deploying. We're deploying a new way of uh, of building the the radio and access network. Okay, thanks, Matt. And Geeta, over to you now. Uh, how can operators prepare for open RAN deployments? Well, first of all, it's great to be here. Thank you, Ray, for having me. Um, so what we have seen, um, as uh, Matt alluded to with respect to technology, yes, the operators have gotten past the technological uh, issues and hurdles with respect to how to roll out the open RAN. But then what they're seeing as challenges are the operations part. So operations is where the operators are concentrating on right now because the edge has to run at scale. And when you disaggregate a whole lot of components, then you have a whole lot of challenges. Like you need tools and you need people and resources to manage these uh, extremely distributed far edge and near edge locations with the general purpose compute, which is a new technology that they're not used to. And then from there, they have to make sure that things like, you know, zero touch provisioning, automation, et cetera, are in place. So those are the type of challenges that operators are looking into because that's what's really holding them up uh, in terms of, you know, rolling out uh, far edge with open RAN and near edge and far edge with open RAN at scale. Okay, thank you, Geeta. So how are Intel and HPE positioned to help operators with this transition? So Matt, let's come to you first. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ray, I mean, Intel's had a vision, a, uh, a network transformation vision for the operator community. Um, you know, for the past 10 years, we've had this vision and we realized it over time. And our vision's always included the RAN. Uh, so Intel, we believe we can help uh, with the transition, the, the operator moving from traditional ways of building networks, VRAN in, uh, RAN in particular, and moving to a virtualized environment. Um, but this vision, this Intel vision that I mentioned doesn't stop with just virtualizing the network function. Uh, we believe that the a cloud native web scale architecture for telco, including RAN, uh, has a lot of untapped promise. Um, increasing your core utilization, improving resilience, and also adding in network AI um, are all uh, part of our future vision. And we'd help, like to help the operator community realize the benefits of uh, a web scale infrastructure for REN. And Geeta, how can HPE help the operators? So with uh, HPE, um, what we did was, of course, build on the Intel technology but we also uh, looked at it from a system perspective. So when you talk to the operators, the operators specifically look at two challenges. I call it the front end and the back end. The front end is where they look at it from a business case TCO perspective. 
is there a TCO for me? Because their current world is appliance model and they just have you know one monolithic solution, which is basically the hardware, software services, the whole thing. So it's uh, it's like buying a car and saying, you know, what color car do you need? Whereas in this world, it is completely disaggregated, multiple pieces, you know, hardware is separate from software services, et cetera. And how do you put them all together? And then how do you actually come up with a TCO that really helps uh, the, the operators? That is something that HPE is working on with the operators to help them uh, make sure that the whole system is optimized, not just at a single appliance level, like a baseband unit, but also, you know, adjacencies, baseband, front hall gateways, cell side routers, etc. multiple applications at the edge. How do you make sure that they coexist? Multi-tenancy of the RAN, how does that coexist? You know, all of those things, putting all of those things together and making sure that the system TCO is there. Then the other portion that HPE is helping operators with is what I call the backend. This is where the operations part kicks in. This is where you have, as I uh, explained the challenge earlier, we have a uh, scale to be uh, deployed, like you know, lots of our edge locations and near edge in the hundreds of thousands. How do you make sure that this is all optimized and automated? Because without automation, you know, you just cannot manage that many sites. Um, and then when you talk about automation, how do you get to the component level automa uh, automation? Not just, you know, helping with the servers or the OS or the cast layer, but how do you, within an HPE server, how do you upgrade an Intel FPGA card or an EASIC card or a NIC card? So those are the kind of things at a system level for the backend and the operations is what HPE uh, is helping operators with. So in summary, you know, it's the front end system TCO as well as the back end of operations. That's how we try to help operators uh, deploy 5G faster and you know, go into this uh, open RAN space. Well, these are all vital developments for mobile operators as they advance their VRAN and open RAN strategies. Geeta, Matt, thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Ray.